Hi everybody, this is a kind of a quick overview of uh, CBC's Industries um, upper. So when I was in the market to quickly just change an upper from a 16 inch barrel to maybe more of a target barrel or a varmint barrel, I was looking online and the, you know there's a lot of um, companies uh, with big names also come with big prices and uh, I wanted to see if I could just find something in the entry level range that would allow us to uh, you know be competitive and, and shoot out further than you know your 100 200 yards that you could easily do with a 16 inch barrel so I decided to give uh, CBC Industries a shot um, I ordered this 24 inch heavy barrel profile uh, key mod which I really I'm not going to use because this is more going to be of a bench rifle but uh, the price point was only $229 for this entire setup and this is a 24 inch barrel so this is a monstrosity um, but again you know I wanted to be able to hit targets 500 yards out and uh, beyond so I wanted to make sure that uh, I provided the, the ammunition the best opportunity to succeed uh, under those types of conditions so um, process was easy online ordered it I uh, got a confirmation a couple days later I got that the shipping was being done so it seems that the way they're set up is they're pretty much building it to order and um, you know, so when I got it it came in a box uh, well packaged no issues there I started doing um, some of the just you know spot check stuff make sure that my uh, <clears throat> that the rails and the handguard uh, lined up you know, make sure that the ejection port cover opened up freely, um, and it does. Making sure that you know the ramps look clean on the inside, that the rails weren't, or that the handguard was not loose. One of the things that I had seen online is some people said that uh, the gas block would be, or sorry, that the barrel would be marred because of the gas block, or the gas block wasn't centered. So um, I took a look at it when I first got it, took it apart and uh, I did not see any of that. The finish is pretty much uh, perfect. The All the screws were nice and tight. Um, you know, I might go through and pull them out and uh, put a little bit of uh, red lo or blue Loctite on them. But uh, so far, initial, you know, initial opinion of it is $229 uh, from some of the other uppers that I've seen from my friends and stuff like that. Doesn't come in too bad, but uh, or doesn't look too bad at all. But uh, you know, I'm not a professional YouTuber, I don't have money coming out of my ears, so I wanted to see if these lower entry level cost base uh, companies could provide and, you know, be up there with the you know, Aero Precisions, the Odins and stuff like that. So, so far, uh, very happy with what I got. Um, we're going to mount a Vortex Optic on this and get it zeroed in, so probably the next time that we'll see this guy we will be full set up on a Colt lower and uh, we'll see how she does at the range. Thank you for watching.